is up everybody happy monday yay so to, it is right now 9 14 a.m and i've already had a pretty busy morning i got up about 4 30 to take all the doggies out then i actually did go back to bed till about 6 30 maybe 7 and then I got up and was trying to get a little work done. Today is a uh, weekly home blessing day. And then in the middle of doing that, I actually wound up uh, taking an Instacart order. So I just got back from my Instacart order. I uh, had one order. She had five items and it was going nine miles, which ironically from Publix to her house, the nine miles, put her back on my end of town. So I basically just ran to Publix, dropped her house off, dropped her items off at her house, came back to my house. Cause I was, her uh, delivery address was right out here close to my house. So that wasn't bad at all. Um, and I made $13. So that was an easy $13 to make, but when on my way home, I ran into Ingles, Ingles. So I picked up a few things in there. I'll show you my little Ingalls grocery haul. I picked up some Pillsbury can biscuits because we're having um, chicken casserole for dinner tonight and I thought these little biscuits would be so good for that. And then I got ha, 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 the peppermint mocha. Now, it's so funny how so many people like in the fall, September and October, everybody's all about pumpkin spice everything. And then literally the day after Halloween, November 1st, you see pumpkins or peppermint mocha everywhere because it's part of the holiday season. But I actually drink this year round. And whenever I go into a grocery store who doesn't have any in stock, I get very, very, very sad. So I picked some of that up. I got muffin mixes because these make the best and the easiest little breakfast. Um, just make a pack of muffins and some scrambled eggs. And that is good. So I got six packs for, yeah, I got six packs of muffin mix. And then I treated myself, you know, treat yourself. Look what I got. I've never done this before, but I totally did it this morning. I got the Starbees Peppermint Mocha. So, I'm pretty excited about that. And last thing, when I was walking out to register, walked by the, uh, what, the floral department, the florist, and I saw this cute little thing, and I'll have to show you what I got it for, but it was, can you see? Five dollars and ninety-nine cents. Is that right? Can you see that? Five ninety-nine. So look at this. It's a little wall hanging, and it's so cute. And it was five ninety-nine. So you know what? I grabbed it. So anyway, that's my little grocery haul, my little mini haul from Ingles, and I'm gonna put these away. I got back from town. Had to take all the doggos out. You know, I have three Huskies now and one's a baby. So I took everybody out and I have a load of laundry that I did get started this morning down in the washer that I need to go put into dry. And then I'm gonna get started on my weekly home blessing. Okay, so before I start my weekly home blessing, I thought I would show you what my house looks like every morning before I have to clean it. So first thing first though, I am preheating my oven because I'm gonna go ahead and make some muffins. And I'm gonna make these blueberry cheesecake muffins for Henry and the banana chocolate chip for me. So anyway, this is the kitchen. We have empty pizza boxes. I have a drink that's almost empty, a cup my purse because I just got back from town. Look at there, a sink full of dirty dishes, 
Um, more dirty dishes sitting over here. Dog treats. Uh, a peppermint mocha cup. <laughs> so this is um, what a wreck my kitchen is. And obviously I need to do the floors cause, because dogs. I have my coffee bar over here that has chips on it. And there's my new coffee. I'm so proud of that. And then I have dog treats over here and it looks like some nail. So not a lot there, just mostly putting the dog treats where they go, cleaning up the bar. But mostly all the work is gonna be here, as you can tell. And this floors. And then right here into my dining room, I do need to clean some stuff off the table. Um, put the dog bowls back up. Because puppy stays into everything, we try to keep the dog bowls up now. But the floors definitely need to be attended to. We have little um, muddy puppy feet. And not even just puppy feet. These are muddy dog feet. Um, look at this. That's a sign you have too many dogs. Anyway, so really just tidying up the table and doing the floor in here. That's going to be it for the dining room. Oh, the living room. We got to clean off this table here and dust them. Put the pack, put the couch back together. Me and Henry like laid up last night when we got in from door dashing and watched some TV. So I was all cuddled up under the cozy blanket. Uh, so there's that. Got to dust, clean off the tables, put the couch together, tidy that little table back up, and mostly. We got a lot of that. Hi, Aspen. Hi there, Aspen. Say hello to everyone. Say hi, I'm Aspen. I like to make a mess. Say hi, I'm Camara. I make the biggest messes. And there's like, I think there's a little toy. Yes, there is a little toy that got chewed up this morning while I was gone doing Instacart. So while mommy works, the kids destroy things. So that's what they do. So, we're gonna need to vacuum down the hallway. Gets dark in here. This is my office. Uh, I think really the only thing that needs done in here is gonna be to just dust and run the vacuum. It's not really that bad. Got a few little fall pieces out now. Not a lot. I got this and I got this. That's my little fall pieces. Honestly, these pieces from Halloween, they stayed. I couldn't get rid of them. Um, and yes, he's still here. He's still hanging out in my window. So hi, Aspen. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to, this is the guest bathroom. And I'm gonna clean out the tub. Obviously do the little cleaning things. I left some clothes sitting in here that I brought in here when I took my bath last night that I didn't use. Left them sitting here, so gonna have to do a little cleaning. So anyway, I was gonna show you. I got this little fall piece from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, from the Dollar Tree. And so I had these little towels that I picked up at Walmart when we lived in Fort Myers in 2018, because they have little owls on them. And my granddaughter was obsessed with owls. So it has a little howl, a little, a little howl, a little happy fall owl. And this one has fall and little owls. And this I got at Kroger and it just says, hello fall. So this morning when I picked this up, I moved it in here because now my theme for this bathroom is uh, sunflowers. Sunflowers, sunflowers, and sunflowers. So that's my theme for this bathroom is those gorgeous fall sunflowers. So anyway, that was my little that was my little fall decorate with me in this bathroom. And gotta get in here and clean it. Then finally I'm not even gonna touch downstairs today. Um, bed unmade, shame on me. 
fan still on from this morning, so I gotta clean this off. Dust in here. And come here is getting a little bossy. And, oh, that's what she's getting bossy for. Hi, pumpkin. Hi. What's going on? So there's our new baby. Hi, bye. Hi, bye. Okay, so anyway, oh, I love you. Love that boy. So anyway, I gotta come in here and just clean this bathroom. Luckily, there's really nothing out of place in here. It just needs to clean. Wipe out the tub, the sinks, the mirrors, and tidy up the floors. So that's gonna be my weekly home blessing for today, and I'm gonna get started with that. I am sitting at this bar trying to forget All the fun we used to have Even though I'm better and time has passed Now I wonder where your mind's at In my dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about your troubles Wanna drown into your eyes And feel your blue sky there So deep in you I'm blinded by your bittersweet shine get what you need My dreams I pick you up I just wanna make it right I know all about your troubles Wanna drown into your eyes And feel your blue sky there So deep in you I'm blinded by your bittersweet shine I get what you need All the trips we had Our adventures All the waterfalls And the wild waters Hanging off the cliffs Counting all the shadows And now we're in the shadows I wanna feel your blue
just your part Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down, feel alive When I'm in this town Look at these beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me been going at this an hour and we've only got the bathroom and the bedroom done. I did get the muffins out. The big thing that has taken me so long is I was getting my cleaning stuff out to dust and puppy got this off the bottom shelf down there, dragged it into the living room and I had to chase him around and he went up under the furniture three times before I ever caught him and got that back. But so far, I got the bedroom done. So I vacuumed. I had to do a little spot cleaning because puppy made a little, maybe a little tinkle. Bed is made. I dusted the furniture. I have nowhere to put my carpet shampooers. 
Even when I dust Henry's furniture, it just still looks cluttered up because he has so much stuff. And I don't know what to do with this stuff. And I need some pillows that actually fit a king size bed. Those are standard pillows and they just look hideous on the bed. Um, and there you see my girls, my hair. My hair is falling out, it's very thin. And Brianna bought me a wig. Uh, earlier in the year and I loved it so I bought a few more to wear and I love them and I went ahead and raised some windows in here because Chimera loves to sit and look out the window so and it's getting pretty warm in here even though the bathroom didn't really look dirty um, I cleaned the mirrors sinks toilet kind of sprayed out and wiped the tub and now it just feels a little cleaner in here and I, obviously I mopped the floor and I don't really have any fall decor in here I have these two trees that I had left from my Halloween and I have this that I picked up I think I'm gonna say the dollar yep dollar general for a dollar I like that and then I bought a pack of towels from Amazon that were kitchen towels but when I opened this one up and read it, I said, there's no way I can keep this folded up. It's too pretty. So it says every year I fall for pumpkins, bonfires, s'mores, autumn leaves, apples, and do you. So I actually hung that up for like a little wall hanging. And then I have this little towel that I got from Amazon. So that is really all the fall decor I have in here. So, even though it doesn't look fancy and nice like so many people's do, um, my bathroom and my bedroom are cleaned for the day. And it is, let's see what time it is. It is 10.39. I actually have to log on to work at 11. This is why it takes me all day long to do my weekly home blessing. And yes, this is a Christmas gnome blanket. Henry and I went into TJ Maxx to look for some fall decor, and they didn't really have a lot. Well, I, we were looking for, like, Halloween stuff specifically, and they didn't have a lot left, but we found this blanket, and I went ahead and got it because, one, I love the Christmas gnomes now. I'm obsessed with them, and two, I needed a new Christmas blanket. The one I had is about four years old, and I felt like four or five I don't even know maybe four but anyway I felt like it was time to get me a new one because the one that I have is one I bought for Henry but anyway Henry has decided that he loves this blanket and so every night when he watches TV he wants this blanket to throw over him in his recliner so I just started folding it and throwing it over the corner of the bed so that's that's why there's a Christmas blanket in here and then here's my little pillow because if you don't know this little doll right here Camira hi Kai Kai Camira she won't look at me she loves outside but she is a rescue dog and Aspen hi he is a rescue dog as well um actually the puppy is not a rescue he is our only husky it's not a rescue we um, actually got him from a breeder but our two other huskies are rescue dogs so we're very fond of rescues and we're grateful for every husky rescue agency out there and my mom gave me this new quilt it's a little thin quilt and I love it but the other quilt that I had because the dogs step on the bed all the time they kind of tore it it stayed muddy all the time so I just took this blanket, cause it does get cold here at night. And I threw it over the top of the bed and that way the dogs can get up on it all they want to and they can't hurt my quilt. So anyway, that was a very chatty way to say that my bedroom and my bathroom are done. Now it's time to move on to the next room. Okay, so this little bathroom is been cleaned. I, there's just no good way to set up a, camera in here and I basically did the same thing that I did in the other bathroom. I did the mirror, 
the sink, toilet, wiped out the tub. Now, technically, technically, however you pronounce that, uh, Fly Lady Home Lady Home Weekly Home Blessing. You do not have to clean your tubs. The only thing you're technically supposed to do for your weekly home blessing in the bathroom on Monday is clean your mirror and just kind of mop around your floor. She even says don't pick up your rugs. Just kind of vacuum around, sweep around, and just kind of spot clean vacuum or mopping. Now, I take a bath in here just about every day, most days. So I do try to wipe this bathtub out often. And as far as the other room goes, Henry bathes the dogs in the other bathtub. And he actually bathed them over the weekend. So I felt like it really needed to be cleaned out too. So otherwise, that was it. And this is my clean little bathroom. Now I still have a bathroom downstairs in the basement. I'll get to it, but I don't usually do it on Mondays with my weekly home blessing. So all I have left to do right now is here in the office, which really all I need to do is dust and vacuum. And I have the living room and the kitchen and dining room, but it is currently 10.55 a.m. and I start work at 11, so I have five minutes to be over there in that chair, logged in to the hospital's network and start working. So I'm going to go ahead and stop for a while and work, and I'm gonna work on those last four rooms during my break times. <music> Girl, the fields were mine We played hide and seek for hours Raised our shadows among the pines So offshore, playful and free Without a care in the world I was one rich little girl Daydreamer, kidnap me Take me back all the way back to them days Running around In a gown and a crown Barefoot No mistake ever kept me Spent summers catching fireflies and winters on our skates One big smile across my face We used to dance our way to church on Sundays Mama set the pace Daydreamer, kidnapped and made Take me back, all the way back to them days is officially done. I dusted the furniture and just kind of uh, decluttered it, took everything off of it that didn't belong there. I vacuumed the floor and I was trying to clean this spot over here where Aspen always lays up against the wall and sometimes he's wet and sometimes he's muddy and he makes a mess. The wall itself didn't come super clean I did the best I could with it, but the baseboard came really, really clean, and I just used some Mrs. Myers, the pumpkin scent that I actually had left, left over from last fall, and the baseboard actually came so clean that now I feel like I need to go around and do all the baseboard, but that that is a zone chore, and that is for another week. 
But anyway, I did make that spot over there look a lot better. So this is the office. Tidied up, about as tidy as it's ever gonna get. And I did come out and I vacuumed down the hallway all the way up to where the entryway is. to feel completely decluttered with a huge dog crate in the middle of the room. Look at this dog. Oh my gosh. Puppy. This is why I never get anything done. It's literally like I have toddlers in the house. Oh my goodness. Tree's going to have to go over here. It's just going to have to be <laughs> a fall Christmas tree now. I don't know what to say. Anyway, back to this. We're supposed to be putting this in the that big empty corner in my office, but we just haven't done it yet. I did move two of the kids' chairs back downstairs to the basement. Um, I just left one up here because Will, my baby Will, is coming to stay with us this weekend, so I left him a chair up here. But basically, I dusted 
and I put the couch back together, I cleaned off the table, and I vacuumed. So, made a huge difference. It looks so much better in here. So now all I have to do is the dining room and the kitchen, and I'm gonna have to start dinner shortly, so I'll probably just finish up the kitchen when I'm in there cooking. And it is, let's see what time. It is 1.44 in the afternoon. So I have been at this all day and I still have two rooms to go. This is why I cannot follow Fly Lady anymore to the T. Um, technically, weekly home lesson is supposed to take an hour. And because of my job and all of my part-time jobs and this full-time job right here, babysitting three Huskies, it takes me hours and hours and hours to complete one hour worth of work. So I have got every room in my house cleaned, except I have done nothing downstairs yet. And I have yet to clean my dining room, my kitchen. And so I still have two more rooms to go. And it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. And this is why I have to just follow my own plan. I love Fly Lady. I believe in her system. But I just have to tweak it and make it my own because there's no way I can get all this work done in an hour with this many distractions. Because look, they're trying to kill the baby now. So I'm gonna have to go take care of this. children. The floor is wet. I just mopped it and they all had to go in there and walk on it. Uh, so anyway, the floor is wet, so I won't be going in there to walk on it. But I just cleaned the table off. I need to dust over the bar, but I'm definitely saving that for another day because it is already, um, let's see, almost 3.30 for the day. I still have to do dinner, and I just lit me a nice little candle 
on the table and vacuumed the floor and mopped it. And that's all I was doing in there today. So it's definitely tidy as much as it's gonna be, yes. There's another crate in my house. I have one in the dining room, that's Chimera's. And this one that's in the living room was actually Aspen's when we first got him. That was his training crate. But the last time we left him in it and went to Ryan's, when we came home, he was out of it. He had managed to escape from the crate so we never put him back in it again and so now uh, we put the little divider in it and we're using it to crate train the little guy and this is what they're still doing they do this all day long they wrestle around with him they get so rough with him but he absolutely loves it nope aspen aspen Aspen, play nice. Aspen Riker. <laughs> you guys don't play so rough with him. He's little. Just as I say that, he wants to eat his little head off. Hey, Aspen, no. You be nice. Come here, you be nice. You guys, come on now. Be nice to your little brother. Okay. Guess I'm going to have to go deal with this little sibling rivalry again. Always picking on the baby. Anyway, dining room is done. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. I've got to start dinner, finish the kitchen, and finally, sometime today, I will be done with my weekly home blessing, which has taken me all dang day long to do. Yep, mostly because of these two. And the fact that I work a full-time job and two part-time jobs. But mostly these two. So, however many rooms it was down, one final room to go to be done. Walking home late at night, maybe half past two. A little drunk, but I'm alright Cause I've been hanging with you And it feels like love Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on uh. Want you here with me? Am I out of my mind, or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love, so just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah.
everybody else's dream What a comfort it would be All along, standing strong The way it ought to be But you can never walk alone On your way to being free Ooh, We're only human after all
Okay, so here we go. I finally got the last room in the house done. I moved all the dog treats up top where they go. I cleaned the chips off of the coffee bar. I have some chicken going in the, in, I sort of say Instapot, in my pressure cooker for dinner because we're having chicken casserole. So the counters have been cleaned off. The top of the stove has been wiped off. All of the trash has been thrown away. Sink has been washed out. I have swept and mopped the floor. And let's see here. It is 439, 440. Okay, so three jobs, three Huskies, and it took me probably a full eight hours today to get all of the rooms in my house clean. Now the only thing I have left to do in the kitchen is to finish dinner and then clean up the dinner dishes, but at least the dishwasher is for the most part empty. I just put those dishes from the sink into the dishwasher so I have room for my dinner dishes and I managed to complete my weekly home blessing in one day. It took all day, but I did it in one day. And I still have that load of laundry downstairs. But when I get off of work, because it's 4.40, and I technically don't get off of work until 7.30. So I'm still on the clock, but I am taking my break. I use my last and final break of the day to start my chicken and finish the kitchen. So, And now, the only thing left to do, I'm going to show you my little life hack. I don't have Swiffer. Um, I have a Swiffer mop, but not the little Swiffer pads. And I just, I haven't bought Swiffers in probably years. I know it's been over a year. Basically what I do is I just take a cleaning cloth and put it on the Swiffer, just like you would a pad. And then I use that method spray and mop stuff. I kind of damp this and wring it out. And then I mop the floors. And now all I have to do is throw this in the laundry to get washed for tomorrow. And the kitchen is done. I have to take my Swiffer downstairs and hang it back up. But I will take it downstairs when I go get my laundry here in about two more hours. And that'll be the final thing of the day. So it was an all day ordeal. But I finally have completed my weekly home blessing in one day. Okay, it's done. But that is exactly why I had to give up and completely quit trying to do the weekly home blessing in one day. It definitely can't be done in an hour. I mean, I can get a lot of cleaning done in an hour, but these three have a lot of, um, distractions that they cause me. I get up in the morning. I'm still a full-time student, so I still have schoolwork. I have to try to get squeezed in. I have this full-time job, and I still have almost two hours left to go before I can log out and finish my day. So I have to squeeze everything in throughout the day. So throughout my school, uh, not my school, but my work breaks, I try to squeeze in what cleaning. Um, now the weekly home blessing again is a one day thing, but in this house we have Huskies. So vacuuming is an everyday thing. Kind of running the mop over the floor. That needs to be more than a one day a week thing. Um, swish and swipe the bathrooms. That's an everyday thing. Cleaning up the kitchen. That's an everyday thing. So this is, I don't dust every single day. But if I wait till one day a week to dust with all the husky hair that flies around in my house, oh, it's a mess. <laughs> it's a lot of dusting that needs done. So that's why I quit trying. I mean, I love Fly Lady and I firmly believe in Fly Lady's standards and her system. But for this season of my life, following her routines completely 
um, just aren't working out for me. So oh, I just dropped my ring in the floor. I was trying to put my rings back on because I took them off to wash chicken. I have this thing. I never, ever, ever keep my ring on when I'm touching raw food. It doesn't matter if it's meat or vegetables, but I don't, I don't do that. I feel like I want to get my ring, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. But if you have made it to the end of this video, as always, thank you so much. I always appreciate when you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I, I love cleaning videos. I watch them all the time and that's something I would kind of like to do more. I know basically my channel is mainly a planner uh, channel and I love doing that too. Trust me, I do. Uh, but I have, I've noticed that I've had this really bad habit of getting bored throughout the day. No, I've tried. I have neighbors. I live in a redneck neighborhood. Not really redneck, but I do have a lot of hot rod neighbors. Um, but anyway, um, I, I get bored sometimes and I don't want to do schoolwork and I don't want to do other things that I feel like I need to do. So out of that boredom, boredom comes avoidance. So I avoid doing the things that I need to do. Maybe that's what it is. The avoidance comes first. I'm avoiding the things I need to do. I'm telling myself that I'm bored. So I will sit down with a random pack of planner stickers and just sticker up an entire month. So I have one, of, I'm using like three planners right now and one of them is literally like decorated through December um, for the rest of this year. So I can't do any planner pages in there because it's already been done. Um, so I do miss planner um, videos. I love doing those, but um, I like doing cleaning too. I'm not good at it. I mean, I'm not good at filming. My house is definitely not fancy. It's, you know, this is just basic, you know, middle-class America. This is like, this is a rental home. That's like the best we could afford to try to pay off some debt, try to get ourselves in a situation or a better position where that we can buy our own home. And so, you know, I can't really do a lot as far as like, I can't paint, I can't change the floors, you know, there's so much that I can't do. And it's an older house. So like I can clean it, but you know, it's still not going to be a fancy pretty house, but you know, we all, we all go through our trials and we all go through our, you know, seasons. And this is a season where we're making a sacrifice so that we can buy our own home and have a nice level yard and a level driveway and a big yard for the dogs to get out and play in because they really need space. I mean, we can take them to the park, but we can't take them every day. And it would just be so nice to be able to open the door and let them go out and come in on their own because you know, I have to take them out one at a time now because the last time I took them both out are the two big dogs, you know, they injured me and I'm still recovering from that injury. So, so it's a, it's a long ordeal. Like usually taking, and now that we got the puppy, taking all three dogs out one at a time, that's like a 20 to 30 minute, you know, ordeal. And I do that, you know, four or five times a day. So that's a couple of hours of my day, just taking dogs out. So I really want a yard. I really, really want a yard for my doggos. But anyway, I think I've rambled on way too long. And as always, again, you know, thank you if you've made it to the end of this video. I really, truly, sincerely do appreciate you. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. And hopefully I'll hit you soon with some planner videos and uh, maybe some more cleaning. Who knows? Definitely, I'm thinking about doing some vlogs with the Huskies. They're, it's a big, it's a big thing having three of them now with a puppy. And I think I would just kind of like to, you know how people have a child and they love to film the videos and they document their child as they grow and document their life. And I think I would kind of like to um, document, 
the baby's growth, you know, his little life as he grows into a big full grown husky boy. Um, I had a husky puppy once several years ago. Um, you know, he's no longer with me and I miss him every day, but, um, I'm always like remembering when he was a puppy and things that he did and like the relationship that he and I had over the years as he grew. And I would give anything to have videos of him. I have pictures of him and like maybe two videos of him that I had filmed on my phone, but I would, I would give anything to have like good videos and hundreds of videos of, of him so that I could remember him and just look back on those videos when I miss him. But, um, but I think I would like to do that with the doggos. Um, you know, our other two are rescues and Aspen, when we first got him, he was literally like a feral cat. He was horrible. Um, but he's come so far, but he's not where he needs to be yet still. Um, he still has a lot of work to go, but I'm the only person that he trusts and I'm the only person that he loves. And just, just seeing that growth in him and, you know, that progression in his personality toward me is, has been pretty amazing. And those are just the kind of things that I want to document and have to look back on. Okay. I promise this time I'm doing it. I dropped my hair bow. Anyway, have an amazing day. Take care of yourself. Take care of everyone else. Take care of each other. And stay safe. Bye.